everybody, it's Eugene Leisha here. Today what I'm gonna be doing is an application specific scan using Recon 3D on this little forested area behind me. And this is a question that's been uh, posed to me before, you know, talking about things like clandestine graves or in areas that are a little bit more complex, uneven, and just not so simple. So before I even get started and I fire up the phone or the app here, um, I always like to consider the area that I'm gonna be scanning first. So for example, you know, is it something like a car that's gonna be shiny? Is it something that I can actually get around and walk around? Do I have to take alternate passes and things like that? So there's a number of things you have to consider. So for me, uh, I'm using this little area that's sort of uh, in between these four trees here, these four large trees. So what I'll do is I'm gonna take a path kind of walking all the way around. And often what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and walk it before I even start, just to make sure there's nothing in the way, I don't trip over anything. And um, yeah, just make sure that I have a clear path. And the other thing is I may even do it twice or three times. So whenever you can get around something, it's always good to pass over it a couple of times and sometimes passing over with the phone in a different uh, angle or a different perspective. And that's helpful as well. So I'm just gonna do a general scan. I'm not particularly interested in anything specific. I just wanna be, be able to capture this entire area. Now, I do have a selfie stick. So I've got this, uh, it's a monopod really uh, from, this one is from Manfrotto. Uh, it's a pretty good quality uh, monopod here. So, you know, but there's a bunch of other brands you can get online or whatever. And what I am gonna do is I'm gonna extend this up and I'm gonna have the phone pointing down a little bit, okay? And the reason for that is I don't need to be up close. I mean, I could do it by hand and just kind of, you know, hold it in my hand. But when I get that elevation, the LiDAR sensor on the phone has about a five meter uh, you know, 15 foot um, range. And so if I'm at about a three or four foot range, that's ideal. And so I can increase my field of view and I can capture more data all at once. And so that's what I wanna be able uh, to do. If I'm too close to the ground and I'm sort of walking like this, what's gonna end up happening is I have to make more passes and I run the risk of missing a particular area. Now, I think I'm just gonna try and do a couple of loops. I may actually, on the third one, just kind of go inside and walk around. And then finally, at the very end, I think I'm gonna end up at a position that I was already at, okay? And that makes sure that you get sort of the same view. So when you're scanning with the phone, you have to think sort of in two things. One is that there's a LiDAR sensor here, so kind of like scanning with a LiDAR sensor. And the other one is with photogrammetry. And so those of you that are familiar with photogrammetry will know you have to take photos from different perspectives. So when you shoot or pass by, consider the video as kind of like the camera, just you know, moving in different positions. And so those are things you gotta do. Okay, so let's get going here. I'm just gonna set up my phone and we'll get moving. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into Recon 3D and I'm gonna set up for a project like this. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit the plus sign to create a new scan and I can just call this, oh, I don't know, maybe like trees or something like that, whatever. So I'll just call it trees. And I'm gonna use the default setting. So the mode is standard, there's only one option as of right now. Um, and the other one is the scan density is five millimeters. I think that's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna be using targets for this one. And that's about it. I'm just gonna save the scan settings and I'm all ready to go. So it's not really that hard. Um, I'm going to just adjust the selfie stick here, just tilt the camera down a little bit. And I'm gonna start extending this up. And I'm gonna try and maximize my field of view. Now the other thing you got to keep in mind when you're using the the selfie stick here is just not to make a lot of uh, quick movements or quick rotations. So what I want to do is kind of hold it steady and it's going to be a little tricky because I'm kind of climbing uphill and climbing, climbing over obstacles. So I just got to be a little bit careful. So I'm going to get this going right here and we're going to start scanning. I'm going to go ahead and hit record. Okay so it's recording now. I'm just going to move this up and slowly get it high. And I am now recording. I'm gonna move up a bit higher. I'm gonna get around this tree like this. All right, move back a bit again. Uh, sometimes people move really, really close and they wanna get close to stuff, but I find that it's better when you're a little bit further away. So I'm gonna go over this log like that. Okay, I'm gonna move around. So I'm almost done the first loop already. So I just gotta go around these couple of trees. Just gotta be careful of branches, try to keep steady. And all right, that's my first loop. And I'm just gonna do another loop here. Okay, getting a little bit higher. Now this one, I'm just gonna come in a little bit more, get some overlap, 
move in, I can move back. Okay, I'm gonna go around this tree again. here and I'm gonna stop right where I started so right about here I'm gonna take this down slowly and I'm just gonna hit stop okay so now on the phone it's asking me what do I want to do I'm gonna save this one for later and you could process it on the cloud now if you're hooked up to uh, data or whatever there's no problem doing that I'm just gonna go save for later and you'll see that it's up here where it says trees so what I'm going to do later is I'll show you how I process this and I'll show you what the data looks like. But that's a very simple uh, process here. Now, look, if you're uncertain about what you captured here in this particular area, you're more than welcome to go over it again. You can see that only took me what, like three minutes or something. So feel free to go over it again. Scan another area. Do it again. Try different passes. Maybe try um, overlapping straight lines or something. But I find that when you can do a loop or you do a circle around the area that you're uh, interested in, that tends to work very, very well. So multiple passes are really important. And just keep that in mind. And I'll show you what the data looks like soon. Thanks. Thanks.